Hi, Mike here. Uh, we're going to solve a quadratic equation by factorisation. It says find the x values that satisfy 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 equals 0, giving your answer to two decimal places. And there's the quick solution. So what we've got is 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. The 6x squared we split between the two brackets as 2x and 3x. I'll explain how uh, shortly. And the minus 10 is split between plus 5 and minus 2. Right, and then from there on, what you do is take each bracket and put each bracket equal to 0, and then uh, manipulate that small um, simple equation, and take the 5 across the other side to make minus 5, and then divide it by 2, so it's minus 5 divided by 2 equals minus 2.5. And the other bracket, 3x minus 2, put that equal to naught as the other solution. And that gives you x is 2 thirds or 0 0.67. Right, now, <clears throat> to actually derive those brackets, we look at the 6x squared and take 3x times 2x as one possibility. 3x times 2x. Um, 6x times x as the other possibility <clears throat> and we also on the other side look at the minus 10 and or just a 10 and take 10 times 1 or 5 times 2 that's how you get the 10 right <clears throat> and it's a matter of looking at the combination between the left hand side and the right hand side to get the right middle answer which is 11 so if we look at, let's look at the 6, because we know the 3 and the 2 actually works. Look at the 6 and the 10. 6 and 10 is 60. And if the 6x goes to the 10, the x would actually go with 1. So 6 times 10 is 60, and 1x. There's no way from 60 and 1x you can get to 11x. You can also do the 6x times 1, and x times 10. So that's 6 and 10. Again, you can't manipulate those to get 11x. You can also do 6x times 5, and x times 2, so that's 30, and 2, no, that's no good. Or you can do 6 times 2, and x times 5, that's 12 and 5. Again, you can't get that. So, the answer we're looking for is 3 times 5, <coughs> and 2 times 2. So 3 times 5 is 15, and 2 times 2 is 4, and if I add plus 15, take away 4, then that is going to give me the 11x that I want. Right, so the brackets. We need to generate the two brackets, and somehow put these two values into those brackets. Now, the signs, if you have a minus there, then it is always plus and a minus. If it was a plus there, then it actually works out that you take this value here, this sign, and put those. So if that's plus and that's plus, then you put plus and plus in both brackets. If that is plus and that is minus, then you put minus and minus in both brackets. But we need the plus and minus in this situation. Now to get 15, it was 3x times 5, so plus 3x times 5. And the 2 times 2, so it must be 2 and 2x there. So it's plus 15x minus 4x is the plus 11x that we want. So that's it. That solves that particular equation. Bye for now.